Welcome back everyone to another follow-up to Bike Valis. Today we've got Cody Thomas, one of our team members, with a GoPro on the handlebars. And Cody, tell us a little bit about the ride that you're doing here. So uh, I started right next to our office downtown, the Remax office, and I'm going along uh, the paved biking and walking path that goes from downtown Corvallis to Philomath. Um, and yeah, it was a beautiful day. Yeah, so this is a 20 minute long bicycle commute video all the way from downtown Corvallis to downtown Philomath. Uh, we're speeding it up 2x. You weren't really biking that fast. Um, but that way you're gonna watch 10 minutes in real life of what really took 20 minutes. So for, for most of this, you managed to stay off of the actual road, right? I mean, that's the point of this video is showing how easy it is to bike commute here. Exactly, yeah. I think actually, Besides right at the beginning, I was kind of on the sidewalk uh, by our office, uh, which is low traffic anyway, but yes, uh, for the vast, vast majority of the video, um, there's a paved path that avoids the road, which is very convenient. And it's just really cool that there's that paved path that goes all the way from Philomath to Corvallis, and it only takes, you know, 20 minutes to get there. So it's very, very convenient for bicycle commuting, for yeah. sure. It's really neat to see this too. A lot of our viewers, if they've watched our videos for a long time, know that I used to be a very active ultra marathon cyclist, but since moving here, I don't actually bicycle anymore. And there's a longer story there, but I love that this is a bicycle friendly community. So I appreciate you making this happen so we can show it off to our viewers instead of just talking about it. So, Absolutely. all right, so now you're, you're gonna be going over a crosswalk, obviously, that's what we're looking at. And this is Philomath Boulevard, which is the big main road on the right, also known as Highway 34 or Highway 20 in certain spots. Because as we always like to joke about, why give a road just one name? But again, what we're showing here is that you don't have to be biking directly on a busy road. This path isn't even a bike path next to the road, it's, it's adjacent and removed from it. Um, and it's just a great example of you know, the bicycle-friendly infrastructure in this area. Yeah, yep, exactly. Uh, <clears throat> and to the left, I'm, I'm riding by uh, Avery Park and Mary's River. Um, and yeah, this is a pretty, you'll see like uh, kids when they're learning how to bicycle commute, um, they often take this path from Philoma to Corvallis. Uh, and yeah, it's just, it is a really nice resource here in the community. It's very bicycle friendly, which is, uh, it's really nice. Yeah, so this is a, part of a paved trail network that connects various corners of town and I feel like you know the next time I do get on a bike and go ride this it would probably be to go to downtown the other direction to go like to the farmers market or something on the weekend right I mean that would be like a classic example of you know why a random person who's not even a bike commuter would still want to know about this exactly yep or yeah if you're having if you're for whatever reason your car's in the shop you know you need to get around by other means, um, it's, a great, it's a great option. Yeah. All right, so to the left here, we are, we're approaching 35th Street, that traffic light, and to the left, I don't know what this field is called, but it's basically like the school district offices field, and there's a bunch of soccer fields there. So AYSO, American Youth Soccer Organization, um, often has you know, kids playing soccer there. That's a really big thing on the weekends. Um, so we just pass that area. And then we're crossing over 35th, still on that bike path. Yep, yep. Um, and then, yeah, it's, uh, we kind of deviate away from Fulhamworth Boulevard for a little bit. And That's then, right. yeah, this bike path will take us across, I think, Research Way. Um, yeah. Yeah, Research Way. And then we'll be approaching uh, Sunset and Starker Arts Park here in a little bit. So right around that part where, as you said, it deviates even further away from Philomath Boulevard, that's about halfway between downtown and the southwest corner of Corvallis, come yeah. to think of it, for benchmark. Um, that's about a six minute drive, southwest corner to downtown, and apparently maybe a 10 minute bicycle commute. I mean, that's this is really smooth. It's really neat to see. Yeah, it's, it's actually very, like, <laughs> some people on the path here, but uh, it's very, like, the amount of time it takes to bike the distance that I biked in this video, it's very uh, close to how long it would take to drive actually, considering traffic, especially if you're you know, trying to do it at a busy point in the day, like 5 p.m. or something, it's very quick. Yeah, it, at that point it might even be comparable to driving. For sure. Yeah. 
So in our in our bike valis video that we're gonna deliberately publish right before this, ooh, never mind. We gotta point out where we are. This is Starker Arts Park already. Yep. We yep. just yeah, we just saw the fountain, the duck pond, kids' playground. There's community gardens off to the right. Yeah, this is a great spot. There's some really nice uh, public parks and green spaces over here in Southwest Corvallis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I used to live right next to this park. Uh, it is, it's just it is a beautiful place to just go hang out. Um, there's an amphitheater there too. Sometimes there'll be music going on, all kinds of good stuff. People training sword fighting. I still don't know what that's called. There was the sign for Starker Arts Park and Sunset Park off to the right with the wetlands and the boardwalk you can walk around on. I love this area. And this bike path, again, is now adjacent to Country Club Drive, but completely separate from it. And if I recall, at some point you're actually going to decide, for some reason that I hope you'll enlighten us about, um, to just kind of hop off of the path itself and, whoa, look at this, try out the bike lane. <laughs> what, why'd, why'd you make that bold move there? That's a good question. <laughs> I want to I wanna say it's because on the bike path, and I'm looking for it, but I'm not seeing it, uh, I feel like I remember there was like a woman with a stroller, like a big stroller, like one of those strollers that has like two. A double, yeah, a double wide stroller. A double wide stroller, and I just didn't want to inconvenience her, so I was just like, eh, this is not a, a, busy, a busy street, so I'll just go onto the bike lane in the street. But yeah. as Michael was saying, um, there is like a paved bike path, probably like eight feet to the right of me right now that theoretically you could just take all the way over here. Yeah, and this, this is now approaching essentially the southwest corner of town. This is Southwest 53rd Street, um, just south of the Barley Hill neighborhood. Um, so the intersection of Country Club and 53rd. And if you're actually on that you know, separate bike path, not the bike lane, you could easily just hit that button and it would stop traffic. It would light up those signs, uh, but it looks like you didn't even have to do that. This is Legend at Russell Gardens on the right. So some brand new construction going in there. We gave some folks from Hawaii keys just a few weeks ago there. And then as the bike path crosses over from the right to the left, there's another crosswalk there. And, and this is now the Corvallis to Coast Trail too, come to think of it, right? This is the C2C trail. It is, yep, yep. Nice. So, so now, we're, now we're really leaving the southwest corner of Corvallis and heading towards Philomath. And you'll hit Philomath in probably just a minute or two. Um, right. This, this is actually quite an intense hill. Uh, so like you can't really tell since we're speeding it up. But uh, <laughs> I'm really huffing and puffing to get up this hill here. It's, uh, it's a nice little workout. We appreciate you working for us. Yeah. <laughs> You got grass fields off to the left, and I feel like uh, some starker forestry land or maybe their headquarter building, something like that. Um, and there's just a few houses off of Country Club Road off to the right. That's right, that is the top of the hill right there. Yeah, yeah the, the GoPros are deceptive with this kind of stuff. Yeah, I had to kick it into like first gear and really, really dig deep right there. But then you get rewarded because then it's downhill right here and it's kind of a nice, get the breeze, <laughs> breeze in your face, but. For, for our uh, super intense and, and nerdy bicycle fandom, I'm gonna quote Phil Liggett, who used to narrate the Tour de France when I was watching it. You had to dig deep into your suitcase of courage to climb that hill on the bike. <laughs> this is like Jeannard's Nursery off to the right and Fitness Over 50. We're basically getting into Philomath right here. I think that's right around the edge of Corvallis, right around where Jeannard's Nursery is. Yep. And so, so now you've got this like two minute stretch of road in between Corvallis and Philomath. That's, what I reference it when you're driving, uh, biking just a few minutes. But again, you know, just beautiful paved path, great scenery. You don't have to deal with cars at all. Um, and then this is going to connect into Philomath on, is it the Hunsaker bike path? Yep. Hunsaker, might be get, okay. Hunsaker bike path. Uh, and yeah, so um, I'm past, like on the left right here, I think is the Starker Forest, like headquarters or whatever there we you go. were referencing. Yeah. Um, and then up here on the right, uh, this is this is literally where the welcome to Philomath sign is. Like, there where, it is. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, where we're entering Philomath, and the Boulevard Apartments are on the right up here, and then uh, the bike path just goes down the hill right here, and then it uh, connects to, into the Kneeback Hill neighborhood. Nice, and that's where we'll stop this particular bike tour. Yeah, so we are in Philomath, right? The the Boulevard Apartments. That's that's definitely Philomath. We saw the sign and everything. Um, and, and that's Mary's Peak that is now partially obscured, but you got a better view of it a moment ago on the camera, I think. Mary's Peak just kind of straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. 
<laughs> it's, it's really weirding me out to watch this in, in double speed. I think right around here is where you're gonna go by that little park and then we'll probably end the video. And that's a, the entire trip there was 20 minutes long in real life and we sped it up for the sake of the video. Downtown Corvallis to downtown Philomath. Cody, thanks so much for making this happen. Really appreciate it. And if you could edit me to sound better and have better jokes, that'd be, uh, that'd be wonderful. All right, we'll see what we can do on that front. But yeah, you're, you're welcome. It was <laughs> awesome. a pleasure. All right, thanks everyone for checking this out. All right.